My house is a total tip when it's being used as a workshop. So I've removed everything on the base and I'm just going to remove a couple from the midsection because as I start to work on the base and put it back on again, um, it's going to be a lot easier to keep going on the midsection if there's a gap here because otherwise it all gets, it gets very close together and it gets a bit cramped and difficult to work on. So if I just remove those two, then once I replace the base, it's easier then to keep going and removing the midsection. Okay, so... This is hammer cord and it's extremely small, quite delicate, well small but durable, uh, but I don't have any. The only thing I've really got is cotton. I was really really hoping that I had some embroidery silk because like two strands of embroidery silk wound together would have been perfect. But instead, I've only really got cotton. It is pretty durable. I've tested it and I reckon it's going to hold up. Uh, I was a bit dubious, but it is stronger than it looks. So what I've done is I've attached a loop of it to the hammer flange. Let's put it back together and see if it works. Make sure the flange goes back in the right way around. This is definitely finickety. It is the very definition of finickety. Tiny little screw. Okay, and this is wobbling a lot because um, that string is a lot thinner than the cord that was being used originally. But also, because the flange pin, I don't know if you can see this, but the flange pin is trying to escape. So the flange pin's coming out the top, and it shouldn't be. So I need to hammer that back in in a minute. And let's focus at one problem at a time. It's definitely a very labour intensive way of fixing it if it does fix it at all. I just don't have any proper cord for it. And this is the next best thing. So let's see if the hook even reaches it. Come on. It reaches it. Okay, well, if we can stabilise this and that's a fix. It's stabilised. It's stabilised. It stopped rocking. Oh, okay. Tightening that screw has stabilised it. And I'm just going to tap the escaping flange pin back into place. And that, my friends, might just hold up. It helps to stabilise the hammer when it's striking back and forth. I was a bit worried the cotton wouldn't be durable, that it would just break, but it is actually pretty strong. So that's a fairly neat solution, but it is pretty labour intensive. It takes quite a while to make a neat little loop like that, because my fingers aren't that delicate, you know? <laughs> They're quite large and it's quite hard to tie very, very thin pieces of cotton in correct knots in exactly the right place. But we'll give it a go. Just use my tiny little hammer to knock the flange pin back in. And that is looking pretty stable to me. So only one way to find out really is put everything back in the piano, see whether or not it plays. So it's back in, there's a new little piece of cotton. I've greased all of the holes with beeswax so that the screws go in and out a little bit easier. I mean, look at the difference between the waxed wood and the unwaxed wood, it's looking beautiful. Now, the bridle strap's back on. I'm quite impressed, actually. The bridle straps are really quite good. And I've put on a sparkly new spring just here. And it seems to be flowing like a dream. Up and down very happily. 
there we go so let's keep going if it works replicate morning guys it's a saturday and i plan to work on the piano all day today so i'm gonna set up my laptop over there load up netflix and we're gonna have a movie marathon whilst i just try and get the action working again uh, the other day or well, yesterday i got some wood glue which i'm going to use to put the jacks back in place uh, because i had a tub of this and it lasted me about five years and then it went all yucky uh, so i needed some more and i've got um sort of a version of wd-40 which i'm going to use on the frame to try and stop the rusting because it's getting a little bit rusty i'm going to replace all of the springs on the piano because they're really worn out um, and also in the evenings when i finished working on the actual action i thread the little loops um around the hammer uh, coil so like I was showing you with the cotton before there are a lot of them that need doing um, so in the evenings I carry on watching movies and I just thread those together so that today in the daytime when I can see what I'm doing I can just put them all back on the piano and hopefully everything will work so yeah so this is my setup for the morning my cushion to sit on my cup of tea my phone a little bit of wood glue the action and Netflix. <laughs> what more could you ask for? So the base is back on and it's doing really really well everything's going forward and returning as it should it's got a whole new set of springs uh, and all of these have been tightened up so they don't wobble anymore except for one here that one still wobbles all the rest are fixed that one needs rebushing and I might do that after I've done everything else because rebushing takes a minute. So we'll see where we get to. So now I'm going to do the midsection. So I'm taking everything off and then I'm going to spend the evening uh, putting the loops back on. And then tomorrow I'll put the midsection back together again. Oof, I need to stand up for a bit because my back's gone a bit sort of sitting on the floor like this all day is uh yeah good morning guys it is day three of fixing the piano so on the first day i took the bass apart and i found out most of what was wrong with it and what i could expect to be fixing yesterday i put the base back on again and i've taken the midsection off and i spent the evening just making uh, cotton loops for the hammer spring uh which is quite fiddly work and my fingers are a little bit large to kind of get that done easily but i did it uh pretty much all of the hammers need it doing so today i'm putting the midsection back on i'm going through to check that all of the jacks are stable uh if they need gluing i'm putting a new spring on each one of them uh, what else am I doing? I'm knocking the flange pins back in a little bit just to make sure they're nice and tight and that the hammer is stable. Uh, just, yeah, that really. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's quite a long procedure. So fixing pianos can get a bit repetitive because, you know, you're doing the same thing on every key and there's 88 of them. And, you know, there's hundreds of moving parts on each key. Uh, so it can get a bit laborious, 
but also it's quite relaxing and nice because you just line up sort of a Netflix fest or an audiobook fest um, and just kind of resign yourself to that and it becomes quite therapeutic. So yesterday I got through The Babysitter 2, Scream, um, an Irish film called The Wonder which was really good, very atmospheric. Um, my friend whose piano I'm fixing suggested, what was it, Jung E, which was great. I like the CGI, but the story film was slightly predictable. Um, and Paradise, which was excellent. Uh, that reminded me a bit of that film In Time, which has got um, uh, Justin Timberlake, where basically how much life you have left equates to how much money you can get. So it's sort of like, yeah. I like concepts like that. It's quite an interesting moral dilemma. Um, what else did I watch? Dangerous Beauty, which is a really old film from about 98, I think. Um, no, 96. And it's about a famous Venetian courtesan who gets embroiled in the Spanish Inquisition and at the end has her life saved by the men in her life who eventually, with a bit of coaxing, stand up to defend her. Um, I think they maybe took quite a bit of uh, artistic license with it, but apparently it's based on a true story. Uh, what else have I watched? Uh, oh, The Invitation, which was, uh, it's a vampire story, it's quite good, it's a lot of blood and gore, I'm a horror fan, it was okay, but I felt like there was just something slightly missing, but it was a good story, it was quite good. Um, very sort of what you'd expect of a vampire story. Uh, the Brides of... The Brides of Nosferatu, basically. So yeah, today I'm starting off with a film, I think, called Where the Crawdads Sing? Something like that. I think it's an American crime drama. But yeah, so it's, it's quite relaxing, you know, it's just sit, watch movies, and, you know, do each of the piano hammers one by one. So by the end of today, I'm hoping that I will have the midsection done, and I will have taken off the treble. Uh, and so yeah, I'm just going to go uh, make myself a cup of tea and get started. So we're making good progress. I found one other key that needs the bushing redone because it's it's a bit too wobbly. And now I've just come to put uh, this one on and it's been repaired previously but not very well. It had been glued slightly forward and the hole had filled up with glue. So now it's it's got residue on it and it doesn't properly fit, but it's the other way around, it doesn't properly fit into the hole to glue it properly. Thankfully, the glue's really old and it's pretty, you know, degraded. So I'm having to sort of rub it. I might try a bit of WD-40 or something just to try and remove the old glue. And then I need to sand this so that it properly fits into the hole and glue it properly but it's clear that it's had some repair in the past um <laughs> just not not terribly well <laughs> there we go we've just about got it it's slotting back in properly now and i'm just gonna tap it in with the hammer and give it a good glue so that's good okay doing good today so we've just finished the whole mid section it's looking really lovely uh, about to start taking off the treble so far today, I got a bit distracted with where the crawdads sing because that was a heck of a good movie. Really enjoyed that and spent most of my time watching it rather than working. Uh, then I watched Hellhole, uh, which is entertaining, a bit predictable, so just a bit of a fun horror. So I got on with it. And now I'm watching a Robert Downey Jr. and his dad documentary. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take these off and then spend the evening threading the back of them and it does get a little bit easier from this point on because once we get past a few notes on the treble then there are no dampers on the upper strings because the strings are so short that they don't really reverberate so there's no need for dampers and that means that there's two pieces to take off instead of three so things get a bit faster <laughs> the treble cleared. Okay, I've looped all of the treble, replaced all of the missing or floating jacks or glued them in 
and I think we're about ready just to put the treble back together. Here we go, popping the last one in. All those little cotton threads are holding. It's done. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's kind of late in the evening, very very warm dry season evening and I'm hoping to give the piano action back to its owner very shortly. Tonight I'm just going to break open the trusty old Black & Decker steamer and give the hammers a little bit of a steam. It's probably not going to do very much for the dirt, the dust but hopefully it will just buff out the ends a little bit. I used to have a hammer file. Uh, sounds a bit weird. I'm a hammer file. Um, but uh, it's for filing the end of the hammers. Um, and that helps to get rid of the deep grooves that you get after years of it hitting the strings. Uh, but I don't have that anymore. I'm not too sure what happened to it. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a steam. And, you know, sometimes that just helps to buff it out just a little bit. And I'm protecting the rest of the action with towels so that the water doesn't get into anything important. Um, but yeah, we'll give that a go. but you can see it's really just starting to work along these ones here compared to the ones that haven't yet been steamed over here which have got much deeper grooves so it's subtle but it is starting to steam them out a little bit and it takes a while some of them it's completely going and other ones it's taking a little bit longer yeah, this one, you can still see the grooves, but you can't feel them as much. They're pretty much just coming out with the steam. But it's a lengthy process, but we'll keep going and see what happens. I'm also giving the dampers a little bit of a buffing. It makes an incredible difference. Just look at all of these lines are just disappearing. Okay, it doesn't show so much on camera because the lighting accentuates the lines but steaming this has made a huge difference it's greatly reduced the string lines on all of them on some it's almost made it as though they've completely vanished um so once this dries out that should be well actually it's pretty dry anyway because it was just a bit of steam uh, but it's hopefully going to make the sound a little bit brighter i've also steamed the dampers so hopefully they'll stop the strings a bit better it's not perfection it's not a brand new hammer but it's certainly going to make a difference and it's the best we can do with an old piano without replacing anything 